Hello everyone, and welcome back. So, uh, when I last left you all, we were killing off helmet crabs, grinding to get, uh, night metal armor shards. Well, I'm glad to say that this armor shard project was well worth the expense. Because it... Oh, that's... Lag! Okay, sorry. Uh, because it yielded a very unique weapon. This is the ball and chain. <laughs> it breaks blocks. And it damages mobs. Does quite a good bit of damage, actually. I had better watch out. Let's go into the nether where we don't care about the consequences of our actions and test our destructive package. best part is, with our talisman of repair, we can do this all day with no problem. Of course, we can't break through manuleum. But, it sure makes tunneling a, a breeze. So, this is what I would call both a tool and a what. Ooh, there's actually a pretty good uh, buildup of resources here. Yeah, I would consider this both a tool and a weapon. You know, it also occurred to me, we don't have a gas tier. And I'm hearing a ghast out in my right ear. So perhaps it would be a good idea if we flew out there and gave this ghast a good old-fashioned stabbing. Yes, we may have already captured a ghast, which is far harder than just killing one, but we didn't get his tear, and that's what's important. Because we may need it in the future for potions or uh, other reasons. Hello, random bits of floating soul sand in the middle of the endless abyss. Hey, look, a bone block.
hear a gas noise. See, the problem with ghasts are they they make the noise, but there's no real good distance indication as to how far away they may be. You can hear them all damn day. Back to the portal. Hmm. <laughs> oh wait, never mind, just passed up the portal. Whoops. And getting a phone call. Okay. So we have our gas here, which is awesome. Just wonderful. Also, we can throw this, um, Ardite and, uh, Cobalt in there for now. And dump this, uh, nether rack for EMC lighter. Mm. Now, we have a ghast here. better as a place to store it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what should we get into today? Oh, I know. We should go to the Aether. Yes. But, oop. but, before we do that, I believe it would be a wise move for us to enchant something. We have this wonderful enchanting table here. And I, for one, would very much like to see it used. So, let me go upstairs, grab us some of our lapis lazuli, and... Let's give it a go. There's the lapis lazuli. Okay, can't enchant that. How about we enchant my bow? Oh, power, f power four and flame bow. It's not a terrible enchant, really. But we still have a good bit of experience left over. Maybe we should get some books. And, uh, give enchanting them a whirl. And 
and unbreaking one. A sharpness three. A looting one. Okay, let's uh, get a different book here. Efficiency one. Aqua affinity, that's useful. Especially if we do anything underground. Protection one, meh. Okay then, so with all of this, Let's go upstairs and use our anvil to make this bow a little better. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can you not do this? Okay. No, can't do that. Aqua Affinity? No, can't do Aqua Affinity. Hmm. Well, that's, un that's unfortunate. But we did effectively make our bow that much stronger. So, it's not a total loss. Well, we did actually have an Unbreaking 2. Oh well. Okay then. Uh, I think we're going to leave the minions alone for today. Let's head to. Wait, hold on a moment. There, much better. Okay, let's head to the Nether. Oh, or let's head to the Aether. After we drop some shit, though, because, well, I don't want to die up there in the A there. Yes. Yes, this should be more than enough. Okay, let's go. Okay. And we're back. Hello, random sky sheep. Yeah, the Zephyrs are zapping me, but guess what? I'm killing them right back. What the hell? A random acor plant? Oh, these are acorn sprouts. I could use these. These petals are valuable. Lots of lag! 
Okay, there we go. You hear that sound? It is the most beautiful sound. <gasps> there it is. It's an air whale. <laughs> Look at the Aether Whale. So beautiful the way it... Well, sort of undulates around in the middle distance up there. Hmm. Curious about these flowers. What kind of flowers are these? These are purple flowers. Not very creative. But okay. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, sweats. See, unlike, uh, unlike overworld slimes, these sweats are extremely harmless. <laughs> uh, though they will hurt you. Thankfully, though, they don't, you know, uh, reproduce very quickly. The Aether is very laggy today. Now, I will say this. Uh, though we are using the Aether in this version right now, it is mainly because we love the Aether mod and we've never been able to do anything involving it. And, um, you know, we wish we could. Yes, and this is a windberry, which is preferred by a few different types of animals. Go check out this uh, cool house. Hmm. You know, this is one of their pre generated structures, but why? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm going to remodel it. I mean, this place is pretty cool. Yes, Charlie is probably playing Meatball Parade in the background right now. You know, I would absolutely love it for us to play another round of Keep Talking or Nobody Explodes. That game's always quite fun. It would be even more fun if we could actually play a serious match of D&D. &D. You know. Typically, our troop always starts out our little adventure by burning down whatever building we began in. Okay. So, let's see. Skyroot chests. Let's just stack them here, neatly on the side. Okay, so we have Skyroot chests. Uh, perhaps we should get a uh, 
skyroot slab. Okay, so we will use this axe to cut down a tree and get a sapling. I wonder if they've added sapling spawning actually. Or if they only do it with naturally decaying leaves. Oh look, there's more acorn plants down there. There we go. Yes, it just wouldn't be a good day unless we got a uh, new type of tree to plant. I think we should start off by farming some sky root up here. Ah, now you see, these are the opposites of the zephyr. They are actually very peaceful. Let's excavate the ground here, because we have no use for uneven ground right in front of our door. Let's see here. So we're only getting either dirt. Well, that's just fine. It'll spread back into grass in due time, I'm sure. And we're going to close all this off. to create a nice body of water right in front of us here when we can finally get some water or whatever passes for water in this hellish landscape oh and I'm afraid we've gone a bit long with our episode so I'll see you all next time Goodbye.